Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact simulation in Blender. This will look great both in EV and in Cycles, and as always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by making the cloth, so press S, Y, then 30, and then press S, X, then 5. And then let's go into edit mode to add some uh, loop cuts. So press tab for edit mode, and then press control R, then 60. And then let's add uh, 10 loop cuts for the length of the rectangular. And then two loop cuts for the width of the rectangular. And then press Alt A to deselect everything, then numpad 3 for side view, and then press B to box select, and X to delete the faces. And then press B once again, and uh, delete the faces on the other side. Okay, so now we have the basic cloth. And uh, then I'm going to edit the uh, ends of the uh, cloth. So uh, hold in Alt to select a line of faces, turn on proportional editing. And then press G, and then Y to grab these faces on the Y axis. And I'm going to grab these minus one unit on the y-axis and then do the same for the other side so hold in alt then press g y then one and then let's save before we continue so save as give the file a name you can save it wherever you want on the computer and then press enter to save okay and then let's go back to object mode and apply the scale so control a and apply the scale and then go back, and then we're going to add some bevels. So hold in Alt and Shift, and select the two lines of uh, edges. And then press Control B for a bevel, and use the mouse wheel to add an additional line of uh, edges. And then do the same on the other side. And press uh, Control B. And then right click to confirm. Okay, and uh, next we need some objects to control the uh, cloth. So uh, press number three, then number five, and then press Shift A and add a cylinder. And uh, then press R, Y, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis, and press S to uh, scale it down. And then press number 7 for top view. Then let's go into wireframe view, press tab for edit mode, and then press Control R to add a loop cut. And then press Alt A to deselect everything, press B to box select, and X and delete the vertices. So that will delete half of the cylinder. And then go back to object mode, and add the mirror modifier. And then we're going to use the uh, cube, which is the cloth, as the mirror object. And uh, then we can go back into edit mode, go to face select, and we can grab the uh, face on the x-axis. So press G, then X, to grab it on the x-axis, go back to object mode, now bat 7 for top view, then press G, then Y, to grab it on the y-axis. And then press S, then X, to scale it on the X-axis. And then let's go into edit mode, press tab for edit mode, then N. And let's set the micro value to 1, so that we can add the subdivision surface modifier. And uh, then press E to extrude, left click, and then press S to scale up the extrusion. And then press E to extrude once again. Okay. And then we need to select the other side as well. So uh, let's go to Edge Select, then hold in Shift and Alt, and then press S, then Shift X to uh, scale this only on the Y and Z axis. And then press Control A in Object Mode to apply the scale, and then press Control B inside Edit Mode so we can add some uh, bevels. Okay. 
and then let's add the subdivision surface modifier to add additional polygons and uh, then let's increase the number of subdivisions and then we can also scale it on the y and z axis by pressing s then shift x if you want it to be larger okay so let's go back to object mode and add the collision physics to uh, this object and let's set the uh, thickness outer and inner to uh, 0 0.02 and then save before we continue click on the plus sign and then save okay so now we're going to duplicate this object so that we have it on both sides of the cloth so press number at 7 then shift D then Y to move the duplication on the Y axis and then next we need to add the cloth physics to the cloth so select the cloth then add cloth physics and let's set it to the silk present and uh, then under collision let's set the quality to uh, 10 and then turn on self collision as well and uh, then let's do a test bake I obviously speeded up the baking process right now the uh, bake quality is quite poor so we need to improve it but first let's uh, do a new save so file save as click on the plus sign and then save and I'm going to start off by adding a uh, subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons but uh, we can still improve it so let's go into the cloth physics and then delete the previous bake and let's set the uh, quality steps to 20 which is going to look a, a lot better and then let's bake the uh, simulation once again and uh, see what it looks like we don't have to bake the whole thing we can just uh, bake the beginning and then press escape to uh, stop the bake and as you can see this looks fine so uh, we can continue with this one and if you have a powerful computer you can set it even higher but uh, 20 should be enough okay so now it's time to animate the two collision objects so let's apply the mirror modifiers and then press ctrl a to apply all transforms and then we can start off at uh, frame 50 and then press i to keyframe the rotation and uh, then let's go to frame 250 and rotate 720 degrees and then press i to keyframe the new rotation and then let's go to frame 300 and keyframe the location and then let's go to uh, frame 450 and move the object on the y-axis press g then y to grab it on the y-axis and then press i and i to keyframe and then let's go to frame 650 and then uh, set the rotation back to zero and then press i to keyframe and i to keyframe once again and then let's go to frame 850 and set the object back to its original position which is zero on the y-axis and then press i and i to keyframe okay and uh, then let's select the cloth and then we can bake the new simulation let's set the end frame to a thousand and save once again and then click bake to bake the simulation then after a long bake we have the uh, simulation and as you can see it looks fine so let's save before we continue and uh, then we need to go into the uh, modifiers and add a solidify modifier to add some thickness to the cloth and then you can play around with the thickness I think this looks fine okay
And then the next step will be to add the uh, lighting. So let's select the light source, go into the light settings, turn it into a sun, and then let's set the strength of the light to 15. And then we shift A, and then G, then set to grab the plane on the Z axis, and then press S to scale up the plane. And then let's set the number of samples to uh, 200 in EV and enable screen space reflections as well. And uh, then let's select the uh, cloth, go into rendered view, then let's go into the materials, and uh, let's set the uh, color to red, for example. And then you can play around with the different metallic values, roughness values, and so on. So, uh, let's increase the metallic value. And we can also use the uh, glass shader, which uh, also looks great. So, something like this. And then next we need to select the floor, or the plane, and then let's make it uh, completely black. You can obviously add whatever color you want. I'm also going to make the background black, and increase the metallic value, as well as uh, decreasing the roughness. And then we can go into the render settings, and under shadows, decrease the cube size to increase the quality of the shadows. And then let's select the collision objects and uh, just add a basic material. So uh, something like this. And then add the same material for the other collision objects. Okay. And I think this looks nice. Let's uh, adjust the color slightly. And then we need to adjust the uh, thickness value for the solidify modifier so that we can't see the uh, collision object through the cloth. So I just set the uh, thickness to a negative value. And uh, Add smooth shading as well for the cloth. Okay, so let's set up the camera. Press no at zero to look through the camera. And then we need to lock the camera to view. And then let's increase the range of the camera. So select the camera, go to the camera settings, and increase the end value. Okay, so let's set it around here. If you want to, you can uh, make a few more adjustments to the colors before we set up the final render. So just play around with the different materials until you have something that you like. And then let's adjust the uh, roughness of the glossy shader slightly. And when you take a close look at the cloth, you can see that there's uh, some overlapping and material issues. But uh, you can easily adjust that by uh, changing the different settings. Even if we switch to uh, the diffuse shader, there will still be some issues in the uh, camera. But you won't really be able to see this in the final render anyway. So I'll just uh, set it back to glossy. And you can also use the uh, cycles render, which looks a lot better. And you can also play around with the different materials in cycles. Now let's uh, go back into the render settings. 
and I'm going to use the GPU for the render. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU, set the number of samples to 200, and then the tile size to 512 if you have a GPU. If you only have a CPU, just leave it at 64. And I'll set the uh, resolution to 4K and the frame rate to 30 FPS. Now let's select a folder for the file animation. I'm going to render them out as PNGs, and then you can convert them into an MP4 file later. I have a tutorial on that on my channel. So I'm going to create a folder, give the animation a name, and uh, set the compression to about 85. Then let's do a test render. So a render, and then render image. And I think this looks nice. So uh, let's go back. And this is the time to do the final adjustments. So uh, now we can change the color, for example. In the final animation in this tutorial, I actually made it blue. So uh, just play around with the colors. And uh, then let's save before we do the final render. And then go to render, and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, more tutorials coming soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.